Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, predictfootball.blogspot.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. If you bet on college football, I don't care what the press is reporting. They are dealing with corporate sponsors. They're dealing with, you know, network television rights. They have a different agenda. If your agenda as a gambler is simply to make money, if it's simply to be on the right side of the play, then let's cut through all this BS. If you gamble on college football, your operating assumption right now has to be that Johnny Manziel will be suspended for at least a few games at Texas A&M, right? Apparently the evidence is overwhelming that Johnny Manziel was in at least one hotel room signing autographs for people who pay for autographs, right? Now, I understand there's going to be a lot of smoke. There are going to be claims that Johnny Manziel was spending his free time giving away his autograph for free to these fans, right? I don't buy it. I think there's more here than meets the eye. The problem with these scenarios where a guy is in hotel rooms at events organized by third parties is that too many people are involved. You can't keep something private when there are a lot of people involved who have a financial incentive to make the news public, right? Someone somewhere is going to leak some rumor that Johnny Manziel, an amateur, was getting paid for his autograph, right? Now, if you're Texas A&M and you're sitting on a multi-million dollar enterprise, your NCAA football team, as good as Johnny Manziel has been to you, understand, if Johnny Manziel did something wrong this offseason, that's really his problem. It becomes your problem the minute you let him play again for your university. Right? I love Johnny Manziel. The problem is if he was selling his signature for profit or if it just looks like he was selling his signature for profit. And if you're Texas A&M, you cannot risk having this young man on the field for even one play. Because, of course, the NCAA will say that you played an ineligible athlete. So, if your future is better and you're making bets on the number of wins that a team like Texas A&M will have this upcoming football season, you need to consider the distinct possibility. In fact, I would say it's the likely possibility that current Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel will miss a significant chunk of the season. Quite frankly, I feel this young man would be lucky to play ever again for Texas A&M. I think the young man's college career is over. I hope I am wrong. At a minimum, he's going to miss multiple games. Understand, the reports from Darren Ravel indicate that Johnny Manziel was at at least two autograph signing sessions. Right? There's a report right now, and this story is probably going to dribble out over several days. There's a report right now on a website where a broker is talking about how Johnny Manziel's personal assistant, and yes, Manziel, now about to be a sophomore, has a personal assistant. 
Apparently his personal assistant told one of these guys who brokers autograph shows that Johnny Manziel would no longer sign autographs for free. Apparently, if you go on eBay right now, you're going to see a lot of Johnny Manziel signatures, right? And apparently the signatures have telltale signs that they were signed at autograph shows because, of course, after the signature, it has some designation for the Heisman, which is what people who sell their autographs do. Right, They'll put whatever award they have or their number or their team after their signature to increase the value of the signature. Right, So, of course, in the mainstream media, they're going to say, oh, is Johnny guilty? Oh, we don't know. Oh, let's investigate. But I'll tell you what, let's get to the hard line. Let's get to the gambling bottom line. If you're... Texas A&M, I don't think you risk a multi-million dollar football program on a guy who, quite frankly, even had photographs of him taken at these autograph shows, right? Keep in mind, your association with Johnny Manziel has already been a positive one. He got the school a Heisman Trophy his freshman year. No question about it. I believe a lot of alumni are going to say, okay, fine. This has already been a win-win. Let's move on. Let's not jeopardize the program. Look at what happened to USC. Look at what has happened to other big-time programs that have run afoul of the NCAA. Texas A&M simply can't take that chance. If you're a Johnny Manziel fan, you need to consider the possibility that Manziel gets suspended for several games this season. If you're a skeptic like me, you'll even have doubts on whether Johnny Manziel ever plays another college football game. My advice to those of you who are thinking about betting on Texas A&M games, keep your money in your pocket until this situation clarifies itself. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. All I can say is that it's just a fact of life. Guys who get quick success will have a lot of people trying to shoot them down. I think Johnny Manziel, unfortunately, is about to get shot down. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching.